Captain of Sheriff Walter Beaumont exploded from a story of small town corruption to national news. You see, Beaumont named names. He implicated over a dozen co-conspirators in the Sinclair Parish Sheriff's Department. He uh, identified members of the white supremacist Southern Union. And some of those men belonged to the Louisiana political machine. Now, for his part, uh, Beaumont accepted a sentence of 15 years in prison. He served 12, most of it in solitary confinement for his own safety. Uh, he uh, was shot and killed in 1989 in the driveway of his home. There were no suspects, and no one was ever charged. Where'd she come from? Ah, me earth. A shit right this morning, wheels and all. Have you ever heard the saying, you catch more flies with honey than vinegar? Have you ever heard the saying, there? Uh, is that one there, yeah? Go fuck yourself. A few times. <laughs> Seen about you, lad. It's personal. I got it covered. I need your full attention on what we're doing here. Can't have you running around with your head up your ass. A couple of lads come to me looking for wheels. You from around here? Belfast. Belfast. They heavy weights. Oh, monumental. Looking for uh, serial numbers, parts to throw in. Keep the Belfast law guessing when things go boom. They ask him or tell him. Air raid on us. Nikki could have done this in an hour. Fucking talk to her, man. Sort your shit out. You got kids? We end on rent someplace. None that I know of. And you've not got a goddamn clue the many ways a child can. Disappoint you. I'm pretty sure the feeling's mutual. Christ. Well, what do you need, Bert? <sighs> Starters, more of these cars. You can put your hands on them and deliver them back here. That'll be a lot of help to me. I'll keep my eyes open. How you do that, Lassie? You do that. I'm a man who wants a lot of a lot of regular folk messing their wheels. Irish, hit the block it. We got a lot. Yeah, fucked up. There's a purity to chopping cars. Take the excess of others, strip it down to bones, rebuild it lean and mean. Danny understood that. hungry? Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French Ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. This friend we're meeting, is it someone I know? No, ex-company pal Robert Marshall. Has a line on an asshole we worked with before your time. Man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name. The two of you had some kind of fallen out. The fallout would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of it. Something had to go down. Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitorous cocksucker who got good men killed. Watch the road! Watch it! What was I saying? Oh yeah, look. All you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitorous cocksucker who got good men killed. 
And if he's in New Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Never is. The streets are unsafe. Your taste in music leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah? But when I want to know what you think about my music, I'll smack you upside the head. I'm sorry, I can't listen to this anymore. Much. Where the fuck is Marshall? Wait. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Oh. <laughs> Ungrateful fuck. <sighs> Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. Well, I'll keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Bertie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Well, let's go. Looks like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Gee. God damn it. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? What kind of sick fuck shoots up a birthday party? Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him, and that life. Are you sure about Marshall? Man seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh, that's his brains. Hey, this fella down here has got his brains and his frijoles. OK, yeah. So maybe he's a little. <laughs> Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. <sighs> Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already a nom, but I heard about it. Balmana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! I got him. Not a chick, get the fuck out of here. Hope this was a learning experience for you. All right, let's go. Don't kill me. Why the fuck you running? Have you seen you? Fair point. Come on. 
I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? Well, is that enough, man? You're smoking. Goddamn right it is. <laughs> Moving up in the world. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You know, forget it. There's a dead man upstairs. Name's Balmana. Yes, yeah, so? So the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright. Are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! Oh. You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he was with that they need to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's the only thing I hear. Oh, my mother. That mean anything to you? Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. Let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Stand up. Telling what Aldridge is after. The Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right, let's go. So from the looks of that place. We're driving here. There they are. From the looks of that restaurant, Aldrich has some well-trained men. We're driving here. Where was I? So from the looks of that restaurant, Aldrich has some well-trained men working with him. No surprise. Cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. Never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that Noong MSF battalion saved our asses last year. Those are some mean motherfuckers. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. Damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Yeah, well, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wrong tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing unwinding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk to me. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. <laughs> the things we've had to do for our country. Oh, fuck. Man, don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn grunts. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us, but we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine. Safe house should be coming up. We're here. Motherfuck! There's a lady back there. She's usually guarded, but I'm 
under the circumstances, we should be okay. What's the layup at this point? The primary offices are outfitted with a mainframe computer system. Whatever Aldridge is here for, it's likely to be located there. God damn it! Motherfucker whose brains are gonna rain down on this earth? No. Good. Now let's go. God damn it. We're gonna kill every last agent if we don't do something. Then let's go stop. That's all of them for now. Can you move? I get your ass gone. Thank you. Don't stick around. Just go. Inspection station. We review every piece of mail leaving and entering the country. How else would we keep an eye on all those common sympathizers? Yeah. How well? <clears throat> Fucking smart mouth, cocksucker. You just made it harder on yourself, pal. Ain't getting shit from me. Guess we'll see about it. But there's no way. Yeah. Motherfuckers over oh, here. Hey. I'll put one in here. Shit. Reloading. Let's ride this train all the way to the end, Frey. On your knees. The last of them. Following you, Lee. Oh, Joe. Grab that pack, best buddy. for me, Lincoln. So 
stuff up over there. Telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, all for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. So snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the worst. Get on! Where's the fucking safe? There it is! There's no safe! Aldridge! <laughs> Show, Johnny. Yes! You know, one last chance. What's it going to be? Don't tell that cocksucker anything. You gotta stand strong. Oh, it's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> Show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking head right, off. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, you fucking coward! He's gonna kill you regardless. Out of way. <laughs> How's the hand? How's the face? Tell me, who's your colorful friend? I'm the motherfucker who's gonna shove his colorful foot up your ass. Oh, I like him, Johnny. He's a keeper. Just take what you want and go. Jackpot. Fuck! Now what? Uh... I'll tell you now what. Come here. What? Oh, just get up. Ah. Ah. Oh. So long, Johnny. You fucking bastard. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Aldridge. Maybe. Maybe not. We got company. Caught around here somewhere. Check the desks, the bodies, everywhere. God damn it. Fuck! Come on! Open, god damn it. Motherfuck! Anything. We need that key card. Found the call.
We need to get in there and find out what Aldridge is up to. God damn it! What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck. What the hell's this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldrich talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Devochka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvochka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldrich gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldrich took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out, he doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Paez before Aldridge does. Aldrich, when did you first meet him? June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldrich was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this into Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track down pilots.